hey you guys if you want to see how i went from this to this super cute and defined twist out uh just keep watching and i'm gonna show you exactly how i got it so as y'all know i do use the lco method to moisturize my hair so for my leave-in i did use the Cantu leave-in conditioning repair cream and for my cream i use the moisturizing curl activator cream So I did want to just show y'all how defined and shiny my actual curls were and how my hair was before I even put any product in there. But to start off this style, I am going to section the back part of my hair kind of from ear to ear. So now that you have the back section sectioned off, split that section in half and pin the other half up so it won't get in your way. Okay, so first things first, I want to spritz my hair with water because with any style, to get the best definition, you want to start on wet hair. And then I'm just going to detangle this section with my wide tooth comb and then further detangle with my powder brush. And then I want to take my leave-in conditioner and use about a quarter size amount and just distribute that on to this section of hair and thoroughly work it in as you can see. And then you know our ends is the driest part of our hair so I like to focus on that too. And then after I get done with that I like to take my paddle brush just to further distribute uh, the product through my hair. And then I'm going to take the uh, curl activator cream and then put that on my hair as well the same way just really working it in. Okay, so now you're going to see me zoom in so you can see this. I'm just going to split my hair in half, very simple, and just start to two strand twist my hair. And while you're two strand twisting your hair, you want to make sure that you're twisting very tightly, okay? That's where the definition is going to come from. And once you get to the end, you want to add more product because we're about to add the perm rod. This is the side perm rod that I use and I'm going to just put my hair underneath the perm rod and like wrap my hair on top of it and add more product if and when necessary because you do not want your ends to be hella frizzy. You want, um, you want it to be good because you want a nice curl. And after finishing my first twist and adding that perm rod, that is what I'm left with. And now I'm going to speed through me just doing the rest of my twist. Okay, y'all, so this is what the back two look like once I finish with my hair type. All I needed was two to get the definition I wanted, but you use what you need to do. And now I'm doing my part. Uh, you want to go ahead and choose where you want your part to be before you start doing your twist because um, it's going to look kind of weird if you just twist randomly and then kind of part your hair after you take your twist down. But you know, uh, if that's the look you're going for, you do that. But for me personally, I went ahead and just sectioned off a twist by the part so my part can be set and in place. And right here, as you can see how I kind of got the twist on top going further to the side. I got it like that because that's how I want my hair to lay. So now after we got all of the twists and perm rods in, I want to take some oil just to put on my hair to reduce frizz while I sleep and to seal in all my moisture. And this is the final result. I had six in all, two on top, one on either side, and two in the back. And like I said earlier with my hair type and density and all that, six was all i needed to achieve the volume and definition that i was looking for 
pay you guys so now it's the next morning as you can see and my hair is completely dry my twist looks my twist look nice and juicy my roots look nice and curly and my hair just looks overall healthy and just great so to take down my hair I'm going to use the Garn Gay Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum uh, to reduce frizz as I'm taking my hair down with my hair type like from what I have learned using oil on my hands to reduce frizz doesn't really work uh, it's best for me to use a serum but you'll use what's best for your hair and now as you can see I am taking up my perm rise I am just taking them down in the opposite direction I put them on and as you can see I got really really good definition and now to unravel my twist as you can see I kind of unwind the twist and kind of find the opening and then just take it down from there as you can see I'm really gentle but do y'all see the definition I got this was my very first twist out so i was really happy with my results but look at that definition y'all it's super shiny and all that but yeah now for separating i add some more serum to my hair and then i zoomed in so y'all can see uh i take a piece of the twist and I separate it into smaller pieces so I kind of make sure I coat each piece in the serum and twist the ends to keep the curl and to get as little free as it's possible and yeah as you can see that's what I'm doing and I continuously just get more uh, oil or serum from the other palm that's really not doing too much just to avoid as much freeze as possible and here's just another close-up clip of me uh separating on this piece as you can see my ends were actually getting a little frizzy uh because i do need to get my ends clipped so as you can see i take a little bit of the serum and um put it on the end of the twist just to keep the hair from completely frizzing up and just to keep it together i thought that was you know something worthy of showing y'all so yeah <laughs> You know um i'm getting closer and closer to getting finished but right here is the moment when i started to notice like this is going to be a pretty bomb twist out like look at that definition it just looks really good and yeah and i wanted to also tell y'all you can tell how good your twist out is going to come out based off the initial definition you get from taking the twist down before you even separate like you can already that's when you'll be able to tell i'm just like i'm just letting y'all know so if you take one twist down and you can tell it's damp nine times out of ten the other one's going to be a little damp too so just wrap that twist back up and wear your twist for a day wear a hat wear a scarf you know but yeah do what you got to do honey so now i'm on my last little section but i feel like this is a really good clip of showing y'all how i twirl the ends around my finger just to make sure the ends are coated in the serum and just to keep the uh little curls intact i just thought this was a good clip to show y'all but this is the last one and this is it hunt tea it looks good i loved the definition y'all i really did So immediately after taking down the twist, I saw where I wanted my volume. So I got my wide tooth comb and started picking my roots. Only my roots don't take the comb all the way through because if you do, 
all you will be doing is creating frizz so then after that I took my leftover serum on my hair and you know rubbed it on my roots and my little trick is to flip that one piece that you just saw me move over to the other side to create more volume on the uh the left side of my head because i just get less volume over there because it's less hair so i just flip that one piece over and it makes a difference and as for the baby hairs i kept it real simple i put some of my eco styler on my toothbrush and just started laying them how i usually would you know and then i kind of sleek that one side down over there because i think that's just really cute to have your baby hairs and then kind of have it fade into that little laid over side it's just super cute and y'all know i like to set it with a little bit more gel just to keep everything in place i love my results y'all look at that definition it's just it's on fleek i love it i love it And y'all have no idea how much I just love these results. Like, I'm just so in love with this Swiss style, y'all. My first one, and I loved it. like great i look cute my hair look cute it's gonna be a good day today it's a good day to be happy and today will be a good day god is good and yeah I'm happy. my hair look good so yeah it's too cute thank y'all so much for watching my video please make sure to like comment share and subscribe i want to see you in my next one bye